Hi everyone, uh, Dr. Chris here. Uh, I wanted to uh, discuss a couple of great things to consider when working with athletes. I had a great conversation with a team member today looking at uh, what things you need to consider uh, to maximize working with athletes. What are they looking for? Um, what are your kind of your top tips? And there's this is multifactorial, so there's a lot of layers on this, but ultimately uh, you have to get in the mindset of the athlete and not just worry about their ankle or their shoulder, really understanding what their week looks like um, and then helping them achieve what they want to, not just the regional um, body part that you're actually trying to work on. So uh, number one, you have to, have to, have to uh, know what their schedule is in terms of when they come to see you, you need to understand what their week looks like, what their month looks like, what their quarter looks like. Uh, are they in the middle of a strength cycle? Are they in season, out of season? Uh, so ultimately knowing the schedule. So when you have somebody who comes in and is looking uh, for help with their ankle or their knee or hip, you have to ask, what do they have going on that week, that day, in two days, a week? When's the next competition? Because I've seen where, or I've even done it myself, where I overtreat and they had a game the next day or the following and I overtreated them so they're sore. So I have to understand what do they have? So are they in, an, in or out of season? And then do they have any comps coming up, competitions? Uh, and then is it, what does their week look like in terms of recovery? So I can align my treatment to be able to do that. So one, you have to know uh, what their schedule is uh, as much as possible before you even start treating. That way you can kind of guide uh, your treatment uh, philosophy. So once you know the schedule, uh, you also have to know specific to their sport, what is the demand on that tissue? So if somebody has uh, elbow pain, but they're a soccer player, uh, what relevancy does it have within their sport? So knowing specifically what their sport is and what the demand is. So you can understand the tissue healing guideline to be able to help them along the way. But if you know that you're working on an ankle and you this is a cricket player, you have to know how that ankle is. And the best thing you can do with these people um, is just be honest with them and ask, okay, I've never seen this before, but I know how to manage ankles. Uh, tell me about your sport. And once you do that, it helps them understand that you are actually open to learning new things and not just that you know it all. And that's what athletes love. So uh, understanding their sport, and I said this a little uh, while ago, but be honest with them. And athletes, especially ones who have seen a lot of uh, clinicians or healthcare providers, will understand if you are experienced in working with these individuals or not. Uh, because a lot of times, if you try and make up things or uh, you try to provide timelines that are not in line with what they've done before, uh, they're going to read right through that. So uh, be honest about knowing about their sport, about healing, uh, any conditions that you might have heard of before or not. Um, ultimately, they'll respect you more if you're honest and open with them. Uh, obviously, you're going to be professional as well. So uh, just remember that you have to understand their, their schedule, uh, what they have across a week or a month. Uh, you have to also understand what specific sport or how that body part and that phase of healing is going to be specific to their sport. Um, be honest with them uh, about what is going to happen. And the last thing you have to have to do is that you have to give them recommendations, but also provide an outline for healing. Now, this sounds really simple, but... The, the most challenging part is to look at from a time of healing to when they can get back to sport. It is one of the most challenging things to do, especially if they haven't seen anybody before you. Uh, they're coming in with a new injury or maybe it's acute or subacute. And uh, you know that this is a, a knee sprain. But what you don't know is that uh, they have a comp or a competition coming in five to six weeks. How do you get a grade one um, MCL sprain to be able to compete? And what you have to do is first, you have to know their schedule. Two, what's the demand on that sport? If you have a jujitsu athlete, that MCL is going to be a little tough for that sport and only five, six weeks out. You need to be honest with them and let them know, here's kind of like what I'm thinking. It's going to take five to six weeks and provide that guideline for healing. 
And once you provide that guideline, then they can set that goal. So if you know that you have a grade one and you're shooting for six weeks and the comp is in five, you know that's gonna be challenging. But what that does is it allows them to make that consideration into their healing and what they need to be able to do to satisfy that and being able to either get out of the comp or they're actually gonna start uh, taking some rest periods off and start working with you two to three times a week or whatever that is. So ultimately, you have to have a very strict outcome or guideline or an outline for them, especially if you're that primary person or you're, you're the one helping manage them. Uh, that outline has to be very, very clear. Or if it's post-surgical, you have to do phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four. If there's one thing athletes love is a template and an outline, they do not like to go week by week. Uh, after working with uh, several uh, types of uh, pro athletes and, and various types of athletes, there's one thing they love and they need an outline, A, B, C, and if A doesn't work, how are we going to A1 or A2? Or how are you gonna manage this person? So being able to provide those outlines is critical um, and then being able to give them timelines so they can self-adjust. Ultimately, they love to be independent uh, and what you do is just provide a framework outside of that. So uh, don't forget these tips. These are huge uh, for working with athletes of all types, pro, uh, collegiate, community, uh, youth athletes. Even uh, kids, they love to know, you know, now that they're playing all these different types of sports, they like to know, uh, you have to ask what their schedule is because you have people who are now year round uh, playing all various sports. Um, how does this ankle uh, conflict with, with baseball? And just being honest with them and their parent and making the outline recommendations. This template will help you with all types of athletes down the road. So uh, whether you're a, a physical therapist, massage therapist, chiropractor, it doesn't matter. This is going to help everybody, including even coaches as well, to help them. Uh, provide that guideline uh, as you help somebody heal. So just get information for you to know, uh, and I hope that helps uh, with any of your uh, athletes. If you do have any questions, just let me know. Uh, go ahead and comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think, any questions you may have, and I'm happy to help.